the judge ruling here recently about you going to jail for two years. I guess they want to okay. sentence you yeah. to two years in jail. Yeah, I'm out with Mac Malone, the KC journalist. You know, thank God for he he's kind of following me around. And so we did a little preaching outside. Police came out. And so he saw him filming, so he went back in. So I was kind of joking. Somebody said, "No, they put me in jail." Marshall, they did martial law, so that's one of the judges' name, Marshall. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, police came up, did their talking, and I gave my talk. He said, Now, Mr. Cooley, you don't have to testify, you don't want to. I said, I want to. I put my hand up so high, you know, <laughs> I walk like a soldier. I sat down, you know, you know, goes, so, so now, go ahead. I said, I'm going to tell you how I started. I said, Two years ago, you know, I had broke my ankle, so I wanted to get out to meet the people. So I, I stored my uh, cross in Westport storage. So I was out taking pictures, and I was getting kind of tired. So I'm walking past Kelly, pull, holding my cross, and a guy said, get that bloody cross over here. I'm a, I'm a Satanist. I don't want to see that. So I rebuked him. I said, you need the Lord. And that's when the Westport security came up and said, you got to leave. You can't be bothering people. We're prioritized. Mm -hmm. I said, I've been coming here 39 years. I said, if I'm did some kind of crime, call the police. <laughs> they did. They came and said, well, you yeah, asked to leave. I said, I sure was, but I got the right to be here. And they handcuffed me. That's how it started, you know. Oh, okay. And for two years, they should have threw it out, but they've been continuous. I continue once. When I got my court changed, because Joe Walker, he, he got on and changed my court date for the weekend of the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So they had it on, on, on a Saturday, and I still made it on time. Mm -hmm. So they, They've been playing games. He gave me a appointed lawyer. A point. I said, nope. I fired your lawyer because <laughs> they sent a warrant out for me because I didn't meet with my with the appointed lawyer. Mm. I said, I didn't get no look for that. I said, I don't want y'all appointed lawyer because y'all working together. Yeah, I told working you. Against you huh? And she said, get that man out of my courtroom. I said, y'all cool. <laughs> so they, they walked me out the courtroom. Man. And then I got a warrant in the mail. Just said I didn't appear in court. Oh. And I took a picture of my stuff in Corbin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've been Man. harassing me for these two years. Yeah. For real, that, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So you've been a minister for 40 years. 40 years. And then, then I hit the street a year after. So 39 years street ministry around this nation. And I preached downtown Tokyo, you know, uh, Japan, Korea, Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico, and Canada. Oh, you been to all those places? Yeah, yeah but all my, all my rest have been here, and about 50 of them right in Kansas City. Oh, man. They used to rest me on the plaza back in the day. I guess I made history there, and then other people still come and preach me. They mm -hmm. said they didn't allow preaching. They said, I need a permit. So I kept going back and kept getting arrested, and they found me back home. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yes, so so you are a preacher and pastor, so you are, yeah. so you are, you both. Yeah. God, I've been doing house church. I did my a uh, house church in Westport for seven years. People come, you know, and we go out and hit the streets, you know. And then I would meet up with different pastors at the time. I come and fellowship with them, or I run and revival, mm -hmm. different cities. Man, mm -hmm. that, that's, you, you, was, you were a busy man. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm you running, were busy than some of the youngsters. Yeah, yeah brother, I'd be running, somebody they said, oh, gee. You making us young G's look bad. I say, I ain't trying to. I'm trying to be some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working. <laughs> yep, yep. So, do you think you a target? Yeah, they, the the powers, the culture is the, is the kind of shifted. Yeah, I'm a target. It's like we don't want this man in my cross. The guy designed it. He had lights on it. So crosses, and it's doing Christmas town walking through there, you know, and uh. I get my message across to people, you know. Like in New York, I got pictures of New York. Mm -hmm. Did a picture with police, about 15 of them, they, they smile and thumbs up. So I shared that. I said, can you see police? It's thumbs up, not handcuffs. <laughs> and, and, and I use my humor. And a lot of police, they know maybe you took pictures, you know, down through the years. And we, get, we got a good relationship. That's, that's cool. Yeah. So... This is a little bit of a touchy subject. Yes, sir. I hope you uh, mm -hmm. allow me to yeah. touch on it. Yeah. So, um, 
So tell me about your sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That got um, murdered. Yeah. Um, I, I guess she got murdered in the eighties. Yeah, she got she got murdered in the early yeah, early eighties. I'm kind of just got into ministry. That guy had, had had raped her, and then before cop trial, they came out, pulled it out of place, and took out and murdered. Her. And uh, yep, yeah, and uh. That happened, my uncle got murdered in the 60s, you know. Mm. This guy robbed him, put money on Prospect, and then my niece got stabbed on the west side, in the same place where my uh, sister got killed. And then my nephew, well, he got murdered in New York, and two cousins got murdered here in Kansas City. Mm. So that's when he did, what he said, God, I've been praying about it, let's say, put this on me, do the Superman. My people didn't understand, you know, I didn't really understand at first, <laughs> and it kind of grew on me, you know. I'm out running. What's that? Is he on crack? Is he crazy? <laughs> I know? never thought that. I, I've yeah. seen, I've been seeing you running for years. Didn't, yeah. didn't know who you were. Yeah. And now I see you, you zoom by. I'm yeah. like, okay, that's yeah, the, yeah. the uh, KC yeah. Superman. They yeah. talk about him. Yeah. And then another year I see you, maybe mm -hmm. downtown, mm -hmm. doing your runs. Yeah. I'm like, okay, okay. I said, one day I'm going to try to meet that guy. Yes. <laughs> he didn't shake his hand. Did and this is way before I started doing the podcast. Okay, okay. Way before I even thought about filming anybody on, mm -hmm. you know, on social media or whatnot. Yes, and sir. now look. <laughs> that was many, 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 many years ago. The timing. The timing just right. Yeah. And people need to see the, like, like Superman, they, they see Superman and then Clark Kent. There's a kid watching it. I never thought it would be, because I love to watch it. We go up on a real Make our homemade tea, jump off the roof. Want to be in Red Bull League or something, you know? They tell me we're Super Bowls. So, so um, got another good question okay. for you. So, tell me about the day that you was going to get arrested, but you didn't because you had your cross with you oh, yeah. down at Westport. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm walking with my cross, and you know, so they come up and they handcuff me. Somebody video. So one police took my cross. And and they was walking me down. I said, like, Paul, this is valuable. Come in the line. Walk me down there by my mural, you know, set me on the wall and called for the wagon. Wagon get there and said, they said, oh, what are you going to do with your car? That won't fit in our, in our uh, van. I said, oh, that's not my problem, you know. So they, they unhandcuffed me, gave me my ticket, you know, cross too big for the van. I, I got saved by the cross that day. <laughs> <laughs> so your ministry is working. <laughs> they even save you sometimes. Yeah. You you trying to go out and save other people yeah. Yeah. and preach the word. That time it worked in your benefit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got for the cross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really Montgomery, Alabama. I got a picture. I'll show you. Montgomery, Alabama. I got in the hotel. I'm, I'm going to walk with my cross to the Capitol. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking. They come po three police cars pulled in the parking lot. I won't talk to you. We got a call. Some suspicious black man walking with a cross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so y'all talking about me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then one of them said, he said, we heard about you in Times Square. I was in Times Square. I guess they're doing a live thing. That's they, they had saw me. I said, yeah, that was me. I was in Times Square. And they just said a tornado, right? I said, before that, some person down south, yeah. Mm. So I go places and even like this hurricane, just yeah, the hurricane. Yeah, yeah. My Oof, heart goes boy, out. Boy, that was terrible. They said, um, how many million? I don't know, three million people. Might be, might yeah, be. Yeah, three million. Three million York, people. Yeah, yeah. Um, that don't have power and lights and stuff. See, the cross is a powerful message. In Joppa, 2011, that's before the tornado. I'm there. They got the newspaper right behind me. They got a pork. I'm preaching. Police pulled up. Hey, you can't. Can't be out here. See, you holding the cross there. I said, you know, officer, you do your job. Don't tell me how to do my job. <laughs> he said, well, I come back in, the different story. So I went on a preach, they came back, three police corps, they wrote me a ticket out, stirring the peace on Rock Wakanda. They took me to court April 28, 2011. Right before the judge, Mr. Wheeler, how do you plead about your preliminary trial? I said, sir, I plead the blood of Jesus, not guilty. He said, what you say? I said, I plead the blood of Jesus. He said, look, toward the end of May, well, the tornado came through. Took out third of the city in my heart. Third of the city. So, 
I saw that. I finally got my court date later on. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I talked to her, I said, you know, they said, we, we dropping everything, you know, after the tornado. Mm -hmm. But before that, they had me in court just, just April. Mm -hmm. just, just, just some weeks before that, you know. You haven't seen it, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, all right. So, won't you tell me about that time that you was at Sunfresh? Mm -hmm. I know, because I know you, you you was talking about Sunfresh, yeah. and you was over there, and they was messing with you over there, and yeah. somebody got stabbed or shot while they was trying to mess with you or whatnot. Okay, like, well, Sunfresh was a couple, just the other week. Oh, okay, so it's just recent. Yeah, yeah, it's still fresh. It's so, <laughs> <Oof>, man. They <laughs> told me I couldn't come in because I'm trespassing, and they called the police on me. So I left the 39th Street right on my bus. The police came, I preached to them, and they went out. But another time, I got handcuffed on Westport. Someone got shot. Yeah, someone got shot two weeks right there by Southern Fresh, mm -hmm. right down the street. A lady got murdered. Another time, I got arrested. Someone got murdered uh, two blocks from, from the headquarters, uh, police headquarters. Mm -hmm. Because they, people let me know what's going on. And then yesterday, Yesterday was a game, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, bro, they got a coffee shop on Main. There was a barber there. And, and I was running yesterday, the other day, he said, Come back and I, I cut your hair for you. You know, he tried to trim you up. So, hey, your beard looked good, man. Uh, thank you, thank you. So he was kind of late getting there. So I hit the corner preaching, you know, I'm preaching. And this guy on a motorcycle patrol rolled up on me and said, Hey, you came back here using the amp. I said, Bro, I know. I, I kind of went off on him. I said, I said, I said, go on back in, you know. <laughs> I said, call the police or something. So, police pulled up right behind me. I said, oh, man. <laughs> I was quick. So I walked in there and said, oh, y'all here for me? No, no, we here for something else, you know. I said, I'm just checking. This guy told me I can't be pitched. He said, it's a freak. It's a public sidewalk. So, <laughs> man. yeah, they, I mean, stuff happened so much after the Right there, no, bro. Well, yeah, no, it seems like every time you leave your house, you, you're yeah, subject yeah. to get arrested or messed with. And or my son told me, he said, Dad, he's 54, he's still up the street from me. He said, you know where your go? Because when that movie came out, bro, I got drafted in 71. I lived on Forest Avenue. The name of the movie is Forest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I love chocolate. I ran from bullies, you know, that's how I got into running, you know. Mm -hmm. And I met the president, you know. 